We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Mangles at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. Hey, don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The insane Colts go up against the Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Pricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Inflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> and up comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third down and nine. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these throw changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. And he 
was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Seven. He had it for a second there. And that'll bring up third down and seven. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but... And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble! That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. First and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. That ball was almost intercepted. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game.
And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their feet boost injection. Closer on. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. And it's first and ten. Catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down and seven. catch on the play. Every little bit counts. Those three yarders might grow up to be somebody one day. Third and four. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and more than the QB would like.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called set. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. And it's first and ten. The defenders won't be just kicked in. He's so fast, he can run the kick off for a touchdown before the ball was even kicked. Second down in a very lot. It's like when you shuffle your... Oh, he was hitting mid hurdle and fumbles the ball. And the defense... He broke... Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. I was killing a sinner. I was killing a sinner. for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And we're at the two-minute warning, folks. Stay tuned for the halftime show. Second down and ten. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math Ex under two minutes a timeout means the qb is playing beat the clock and he better win and it's first and ten ouch what is this and he's wrestling <laughs> <laughs> the quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it he just clock blocked the clock and it's first and ten Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. No. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip on the wind. And 
yards, first and ten. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Grim. These guys are doing fine by themselves. And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down in a mile. And the defense was ready for that bombs away dirty trick that time. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog thing, Snags. He got hit by a Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yes, the second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? Our carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strategic show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He refuses to go down. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. First down! And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Gotta keep them guessing. First and ten. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten.
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Man, what a hit that was! Third down and long. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. Third and two. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, no good. Now that punter's gonna find a cutoff bison head in his bed. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Third down and, well, good luck. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here. Come on. He took a beast boosting 
projection. Now watch him step. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji. The new game from Wilton Crabtree. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. Third down and six. Whenever a player gets picked like this, it reminds me that time. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. He's in the 20. The 10. They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I got a soft on Friday night, this asshole. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and five. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. And like your aunt. And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Second down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. They pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play.
Third down and nine. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. First down. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's on those power of the like a high cool. Ghost Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap man. He just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. He's at the ten. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. What the What are you trying to impress you, Derek Bailey, to bring him into the game? One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Not, not one. Nine. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Hey, no gain to me. I can't. Jim on. I got to get on. I got to get on out. You know? 
Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, I hope the kicker ate his bleedies this morning. when he gets back to the sideline. And it's first and ten. The nastiest dirty mistakes here just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake the kick is good and as expected those are pretty much just guineas when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll bring up six. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match sculpting time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must the QB save some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Well, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. Hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. Well, the QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> one yard on that pass. Hot, hot. Remember, kids, if you can hear thunder over the sound of screams, the lightning is only a mile away. First and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the, the Mangles get beat at home today. You know, some people say if you can't beat them, join them. still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.
Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...